Hi, I'm Michelle Qureshi, and as a solo guitarist, I've been a fan of elite acoustic speakers for several years now. My wall of sound currently looks like this. But today I'm going to talk to you about the A25 Live Performance Studio Monitor with four channels, mixers, effects, and Bluetooth. Here's the view from the top of the speaker. Here's a view of the back panel with the channel inputs, outputs, the settings, the EQ, um, other options, uh, choices for the effects, and the controls for the built-in effects are located right here on the top as well, along with the amount of mix and the decay settings. So let's consider the sound and some of the features of this amp. Um, I'm going to plug this uh, guitar in. This, by the way, is a sunburst cable. I really like those. Um, so I'm plugged in. There's an um, instrument setting or mic. Uh, I'm just going in with a quarter inch to the instrument setting. And uh, I have the EQ flat and a little bit of a reverb on, but we'll talk more about the effect settings and reverbs. I have is the, the clarity of the tone that's what's been remarked on a lot and um, I love that they have built-in effects to these there's no need for a pedal or a reverb or anything else you might want to enhance and in fact um, when I take it for gigs where I may be doing work for my songbook and have a microphone for singing um, I can set it all through this as well so it's, it's very cool I'd like to focus in a little bit on the effects uh, aspect of this and just channel through some where you can hear some musical excerpts as, uh, as we go. Uh, this is another reverb setting. in mind I have the mix um, just at halfway between dry and wet here and uh, this one as well for the um, the rate uh, I'll adjust these a little in the same setting before I move it over now I, I generally keep this about 50 and this a little heavier but here's another reverb setting I'm not going to do them all Um, there's also a uh, echo. drive this up you can hear it more and you can have some fun uh, soloing with that kind of thing um, yeah you might have noticed that here Here's, um, I'm going to go up to the chorus, basically. And again, you can influence these with the 
Jesus. Change that up a little so it's not so extreme for chorus. If you're playing and you do not want the, uh, you want to bypass the effects altogether, right here, then you just have the uh, complete by bypass of that channel. Um, here, if you're going to uh, hook this one up with um, like my other speakers when I want to um, uh, increase the sound or I have more square footage to cover. Um, you have the option between the mono and uh, speaker and then your um, connections in the back. Um, of course, your uh, EQ here, as I mentioned, I just keeping it pretty flat. In my experience, all the Elite Acoustics speakers have an excellent uh, battery life. They're rechargeable. I charge them at home. I do not bring the cable to, uh, to the gigs. And um, they also have a Bluetooth feature, um, which I honestly don't really need or use, um, but the option is there. And uh, they're lightweight, I can carry it uh, easily to, to any kind of gig. So there's a lot of advantages, but above all, the most important thing is the, the sound quality, and I find it to be very uh, clear, pristine sound. Uh, and like I said, with the options of effects built in, um, pretty much a guitar and the speaker and I'm good to go. Okay, well thanks, that's my review of the Elite Acoustics A25. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and uh, thanks for watching.